What's up guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Josh and today I'm going to walk you through total, full, absolute transparency of my Twitter software engineering salary. All right, so you may be asking, why am I sharing this info? It's pretty personal. It's a little taboo to talk about. So I'm really sharing this because it's, first off, our number one most requested video on our channel. And two, there isn't nearly enough info out there that's accurate on compensation. What is out there can be over or under exaggerated or just completely false. And I feel like this was a big factor in my decision to move to the Bay Area it was finally seeing the compensation numbers. And so I'm hoping to open that up to you and show you what it really is like to get one of these compensation packages. So the only thing that I ask in exchange for sharing this very personal information is that you smash the like button down below. I will be responding to every single comment that gets posted to this video. So if you have any questions about recruiting or resumes or salaries, things like that, feel free to comment down below also and I'll be monitoring comments. Okay, let's get started. So I began working as a software engineer at Twitter in 2018 after I graduated from college and I was at their headquarters in San Francisco, which is really important to note because pay and compensation packages will change drastically depending on location. And I know this because I applied to companies in Seattle, in San Francisco, back in Utah where I went to college. Location really does have a big impact on your pay. I was a level one software engineer at Twitter, which is the entry level software engineer position. It's roughly equivalent to an L3 at Google or an E3 at Facebook. So if you're not familiar with how compensation packages work in tech, there's basically four parts that add up to your total comp. So the first is your salary. Second is your stock package. Third will be your performance bonus. And then fourth will be your sign on bonus. So let's start with base salary. This is typically the biggest part of your compensation and I think it's a great place to start. So your base salary is basically what the company is paying you in cold hard cash. As a salaried employee, you don't have to report hours and get paid per hour. This is just how much they're paying you to work there over the span of the year. At Twitter, this was distributed every two weeks. It would just be direct deposited straight into your account. There were 26 pay periods in the year and my total base salary was $135,000 per year. So if you wanna know how much I got paid every two weeks, every pay period, then just divide that number by 26. The second component to a compensation package is your stock. And this is basically where the company just gives you shares of their company. And if you're not from the Bay Area, you might not be used to this being such a large part of your compensation package, but it actually ends up being one of like the largest parts of your income. Companies really like to do this because when they give you stock, it incentivizes you to help the company perform better. If the company's doing better, then the stock price will go up and you'll make more money off your stock. And if the company's doing poor, then obviously your stock as an employee is going to depreciate. It really ties compensation to the success of the company as a whole. Now, some companies are private and when they give you stock, you can't necessarily sell it or get any cash out of it. But a company like Twitter that's already gone through their IPO, they're on the public stock exchange. And so you get shares of public stock put into your account and you can immediately sell those and get cash out of them. So this form of compensation is relatively liquid. And because you work for the company and they wanna protect against insider trading, they establish these trading windows. And a trading window is basically where they tell you, okay, for this amount of time, you can buy and sell company stock. And then when the trading window closes, if you have stock, you just have to hold on to it and you can't buy anymore because you're an employee of the company. When I started at Twitter, I received a $125,000 stock package, which vested over the span of four years, which means I got access to a portion of those shares every quarter that I worked there. And if you do the math, this ended up being an extra, let me check my notes, $31,250 per year. I always sold my shares the moment I got them and they slightly appreciated it over the time that I worked there, but honestly, they mostly remained pretty stagnant the whole time. And if you find yourself at a company where the stock price is going up, you can make a ton of money off of these stock packages. But likewise, if your company isn't doing too great or the stock crashes for some reason, you can end up making a lot less than what you originally thought you were gonna make when you signed your offer. The third component to the compensation package was performance bonus. While I was at Twitter, in my role, this meant that I received 10% of my base salary each year in a performance bonus. This money was basically guaranteed unless you did like a terrible job or if Twitter was doing really terribly for some sort of reason. But honestly, if you just 
did your job and did it well and Twitter was doing okay, then you would receive this bonus at the end of the year. So as a level one software engineer, I received a $13,500 bonus. The final component of my compensation package was a signing bonus. And this is a one-time cash payment that you get shortly after you start working at Twitter. Companies love this because it's not a year over year commitment that they're gonna pay you by increasing your salary or something like that. It's just a one-time payment. And employees love this also because who doesn't love like having a huge chunk of cash hit your bank account right after you start a new job. But this does come with a caveat that's helpful for retaining employees. Most signing bonuses, including Twitter's, require that the employee stays there for at least one year or you have to pay back your signing bonus, which honestly staying there for a year is not very hard at all to do. And some tech companies in the Bay Area can get insane with these signing bonuses. It's not uncommon to hear of $100,000 or more as a signing bonus for starting a new job in tech. And of course, that's affected by what level you are and the type of company and things like that. But while I was at Twitter, I received a signing bonus of $25,000. All right, so if we add up all four of these categories that we've talked about here, that brings my total year one compensation to, let me check my notes, $204,750. As you can see, software engineers are compensated extremely well in Silicon Valley, almost outrageously so when you compare it to other industries. I felt super lucky and extremely grateful to have that level of take home my first year fresh out of college. Not to mention, Twitter treats their employees extremely well. They fed me breakfast and lunch for free every single day, including snack kitchens throughout. They give me access to great health insurance plans where you basically didn't have to pay any monthly amount. They had amazing 401k matching programs that incentivized you to save for your retirement. They paid for my phone plan and gym memberships and also my phone. This is an XS Max, a $1,200 phone that they bought for me. Like incredible perk to have. And honestly, if you get really nitpicky and go through every single like employee stock purchase program or commuter benefit, it's mind blowing how much these perks add up and how hard it is to quantify them and how well they treat you as an employee of a Silicon Valley tech company. Listen, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this shed some light on how compensation works at Bay Area tech companies. If you're applying to any of these Silicon Valley companies and you want some feedback on your offers or things like that, just comment down below. Like I said, I'm gonna be going through every comment here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please consider subscribing and we'll see you next time. Thank you